One of the things about this trip that made it so easy is the fact that we all traveled with a Swiss pass. So just the punctuality with which all the trains and buses and ships go made it very easy to travel. The whole Swiss countryside is just so exciting and so different from anything that we can see in the United States. I'm going to tell my friends that they just need to come to Switzerland, buy themselves a Swiss pass, see the country. We left Geneva on the Golden Pass line. We traveled through Montreux um, all the way to Interlaken. enough to go to the Jungfrau Joch. The weather was incredible. It's not often in the summertime you have the chance to have a snowball fight. We also had the opportunity to go sliding up top, which is always fun. After coming down from the Jungfrau, the kids had the opportunity to make their very own Swiss chocolate cow and get their fingers dirty. In the evening, dinner was accompanied by a folklorie and it gave us the opportunity to see elf horn blowers. The kids got to play with music makers up on stage. We really got into it. It was a fun evening. On the third day, we left Interlaken. We boarded a boat went through the river between the two lakes and it opened up to the beautiful Brienzerze. We took the boat all the way to the Giesbach Falls where we took another little train up the side of a mountain and got to do some hiking in the woods. Krista, those look really old. Where did you get them? <laughs> they are old. I got them from Andreas Bach 22 years ago. My Reichla hiking boots are very excited to be back in Switzerland doing a little hiking. The day after I graduated from high school, I left for Switzerland. I stayed with a family in Spiez. Andreas Bach is the son of the family I stayed with. 
And so he came down to visit me. Um, it was terrific to see him after 18 years. I got to run after him, give him a big hug around the neck. That evening in Lucerne, we had a special dinner. My oldest son had turned eight the day we left. Eight candles, singing. Christian got a very happy birthday that evening. We took the Far Up and Express and then the cable car up to the Eben Alp. It was a beautiful day. You could see all of the hiking trails down below. And I do have determined that when I come back to Switzerland, that's where I'm coming. I'm going to hike that whole area because I thought it was just beautiful. We also visited a shop where a gentleman named Roger was handcrafting leatherwork with very intricate metal designs. And the shop is about 120 years old. Oh yeah. On the sixth day, we left St. Gallen and took the train to Rumanshorn. We learned to ride the trams, the post auto, the trains, the cog trains, the cable cars, the boats, and every piece of the transportation system that we were on was clean, efficient, on time, we loved it. And it's so easy to use, even someone like me who doesn't speak the language at all. We saw the rain fall and it was just spectacular. I have seen Niagara Falls in the United States, it is every bit as beautiful. 